Hello everyone and welcome to another really awesome game from the Nations Cup uh, and uh, well my, my phone's been ringing non-stop with hashtag suggestions of, of this game and for good reasons it's uh, unlike uh, anything I've seen in, in a very long time I'm not gonna say ever but in a very long time uh, especially uh, between two such strong players one is a former world chess champion uh, and the other one is the current uh, uh, well uh, member of the candidates tournament that is currently being uh, adjourned but uh, uh, obviously, the, the players are of the high, highest caliber. So such a game, uh, really, really just uh, uh, best for me to just show it. But your your friends at the bar and the library are really going to enjoy this one. So Anand with the white pieces opens with d4. We have knight to f6 by Nepo, uh, c4 and g6. Nepo will go for his uh, uh, Grunfeld defense. He he, uh, much like Maxim, enjoys uh, the knight of wood with uh, against d4 and the Grunfeld against d4. So C captures on D5, we have Knight captures on D5, and now Ananda doesn't go for the immediate E4, which is mo the most popular move here, but rather prepares it with Bishop to D2, saying that, okay, uh, after I kick your Knight away with E4, I'm just going to recapture on C3 with the Bishop. So it's uh, going to be a bit different than the, than the standard Knight or uh, <laughs> Grunfeld. Uh, we have Bishop to G7 by Nepo, and now E4. Uh, just kicking away that knight. Knight captures on c3, we have bishop captures on c3, and now c5. Uh, and the difference between uh, recapturing with the b-pawn rather than playing first bishop to d2 is that now you can play d5, otherwise uh, you just have bishop captures so with check, you're gonna grab the, b, uh, the, the c3 pawn and the white will lose a rook. So here it is possible to grab more space in the center with d5, we have bishop captures on c3 by Nepo, b captures on c3 and now just queen to d6, developing the queen, preventing the immediate e5, uh, and the next black will uh, castle, develop the knight, develop the light square bishop, and so on. So here Anand plays queen d2. Uh, he now wants to play uh, f4 and continue with his pushing in the center with e5. So Nepo castles, uh, and now f4, as planned. So uh, Anand really uh, doing a lot here in the center with his king still being in the center. Uh, we have e6 by Nepo, uh, and now this exact same position has been reached already in this year's candidate tournament uh, between uh, Anish Giri and Maxim Varshiel Lagrav, uh, but uh, in this position Giri went for bishop to c4, and that game ended in a draw. However, here Anand prepares knight to f3, and it is a new move in the position. So already as of move 12, we have a completely new game. Uh, Nepo continues uh, with e captures on d5. Of course, he wants to open up the position as Anand's king is still in the center of the board. And only now Anand goes bishop to c4. Now you cannot capture as the queen would hang here. And also he just prepares uh, the castle. So Nepo just goes to bishop to e6, uh, adds another defender to the d5 pawn, and Anand just castles here. And here uh, Nepo, uh, deciding what to do, he pushes d4, which allows for some nice trades. You can you can trade here, you can trade here, which would give also Nepo the semi-open uh, f-file. So a lot of things you could do here. However, uh, Nepo uh, did not realize, but by pushing d4, he is now completely lost, and Anand now has uh, a way of winning the game on the spot. Uh, so feel free to pause the video and try to find this uh, winning move while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able uh, to do it, uh, congratulations, as it's not an easy move to find. The engine struggles with it, and only at uh, uh, you know higher depths uh, with, will the engine uh, acknowledge that this is actually winning for white. But for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's F5. And here you can easily resign the game. Uh, point is that it doesn't matter how black replies, white's uh, next uh, series of moves is the same. It doesn't matter if you move the bishop, it doesn't matter if you capture the bishop. So obviously those are the two options, you either move the bishop, uh, otherwise you're going to be down a piece, or you capture the bishop. So here Nepo captured the bishop, but now comes the idea Anand had, e5. And now Nepo's queen is under attack, so obviously you have to do something about that. You cannot capture as the knight that defends it. So Nepo played queen to d7, but it doesn't really matter where you move the queen, because uh, Anand's next move is the same. And here Anand played f6, uh, and it was in this position on move 17 that uh, Jan Pomnishi resigned the game, as there is nothing more to be done here. Anand's next moves will be queen to h6, followed by queen to g7 mate, and there is nothing you can do to prevent this. Whatever you play, uh, even though you're up a piece, it doesn't really matter, there's no way for you to give back material. You can even grab more material still, just queen h6 followed by queen g7 mate. And there's no way to, to defend any move you make, uh, it's just, uh, just a beautiful position. And one definitely to be remembered, such a miniature in modern times against the, the Grunfeld really 
uh you know uh <laughs> this might uh this might really make uh, this bishop to d2 line a bit more popular as w players with the white pieces will will maybe try to emulate this in, in blitz and, and maybe bullet games so yeah, uh, really really wild stuff uh, hard to imagine that this is a game that was played uh, in an actual uh, online tournament uh, between such strong modern players in 2020 you know uh it, it would be more like it, it, it's a game from from the Morphe era, and we, I, I I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a prepared variation from home, uh, but I will still award uh, Anand with the Morphe head. There we go uh, for for such a wonderful victory. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, the game. I do hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I do hope your friends at the bar and the library will also enjoy it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Russell Lloyd, uh, Philip Sawad, uh, Daniel Vasquez, uh, Alexander Galitsky, and uh, Andreas Rosenthal for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon continuing the coverage of the Nations Cup and whatever, I, uh, whatever else I manage uh, uh, in, in this uh, time. So, uh, thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.